Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to our channel once again. Today's video request is how to slow a clip down in Canva. So let's learn how to do that in today's video. Say, for example, this is your video. In order to slow it down, here are the steps you need to follow. First, you're going to have to click on it. Then on the toolbar above, go to Playback right over here. The side panel will appear and you'll have the option called Video Speed. To slow your video clip down, drag this slider to the left until you're happy with your video's speed. You can also input specific values over here. 0 0.25 is the slowest you can get. And in case you'd like to do the opposite, just go this way. 2 would be the maximum. And there you go. That's how you slow a video clip down in Canva. Well, just in case you'd like to learn more useful things you can do when it comes to video editing in Canva, then keep on watching. So we're going to click on this. We're going to click on playback once again. And by the way, apart from adjusting your video speed, you can also choose to loop forever in presentation. I think this is only just available when it comes to presenting or when you're using a presentation template. For videos, I think you already have like a fixed duration when you download or upload your video to whatever platform. So you're not gonna be able to use that option here. Um, autoplay in presentation, this also works in presentation as well. Um, autoplay means once you're uh, gonna go to the next slide instead of manually clicking uh, this play button it'll just automatically play okay let's talk about another thing you can do so go to after you click on your video go to edit video over here which is the very first option here you will have some options or some tools that you can use the first one is the background remover. So this removes the background of your video with just one click. It's actually just very easy and convenient, but please do take note if your PC is a bit slow, well, just like mine, then this is going to require a lot of capacity from your computer. So you might experience um, your computer become laggy while editing or worse you might uh, experience crashes while editing so do take note of that and yeah you also have filters if you click on see all you'll have different kinds of filters you can choose from and once again applying filters to your video yeah it's gonna take a lot of power from your pc to do that so yeah, if you're using um, a bit of a slow PC just like mine, then it's gonna cause your video to play slowly as well. And apart from that, we also have adjust. So here you can adjust your video's white balance, light, color, and texture. Okay, let's talk about how to trim your video. So how do you adjust the duration of your specific video clip? To do that, click on your video, then click on this button here, the one that has the uh, scissors icon. If you click on it, this toolbar will appear. You can adjust the duration of your clip by adjusting the slider as well. Everything inside these slider buttons will be included and the rest which are outside of it will be cut off. So make sure to include the part you want to include within this, um, yeah, I don't know what to call it, but within this purple thingy. You can also input specific numbers here. So say for example, five seconds, and it'll include the first five seconds. If I want to move that, I can. Once you're done, click on done. Next, you can crop your video as well. 
you can just click on this crop button or you can yeah once you click on the crop button you will have the option to choose an aspect ratio they have several options to choose from but you can also choose free transform or free form to be able to have full control um, of the size of your video you can also rotate it if you want to like that I'm going to click on cancel I don't want to um, rotate or crop my video here next is flip you can click on flip and you could you can either flip your video vertically or horizontally next add animation you can actually add an animated effect to your video however I don't think it's possible if you set your video as background but let's try animate yeah it's gonna stay that same way but you will be able to animate your elements um, within your video or within your design I'm gonna show you an example I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna type here animation and go to graphics so how about something like this? I'm going to click on see all, delete this, and choose something over here. This one's nice. Maybe I'll use this. Okay, so we're going to try to animate again. Animate. I'll click on our page, animate. And then the animation that you apply will also be applied to the elements. But if you want to just individually add animated effects to your to each of your elements you can also do that click on a specific you element you want to edit go to animate and choose an animated effect that you want to use as for position if you want to know what this is this is just basically useful if you have several layers of um, elements um, i'm going to show you um okay just an example this one so i'm gonna place this over here as you can see it's quite yeah big and it's blocking out the uh, element behind it so since it's big you want to move it behind that other element to do that click on it go to position um, depending on your layout, I usually use a range because this is the one that I got used to. And then I'm going to click on backward. And there you go. It's been successfully sent behind the other element. So that's what position does. Next, transparency. Um, if you'd like to adjust how transparent your element would look like, you can do that. You can also do that to your video so i'm going to click my video click on transparency and adjust it by sliding this slider or by inputting values here like that next we have lock so in case you'd like to lock an element so that you don't accidentally move it around while you're still working on your design click on a specific element you want to lock and then click on this lock button and you won't be able to accidentally move it anymore to undo the lock click on it again and click on this unlock button and you'll be able to move it around again next we have sound or volume so if we click on this we'll have the option to adjust the volume of our video clip or to mute our video clip overall next in order to add another page to your video or to your timeline just click on add page and insert your other videos here you can go to upload section in order to upload or use your own videos so yeah i'm gonna try to use this one or maybe this one would do then replace background and as you can see 
it has a background noise so i'm going to remove that mute and let's play it again gone there you go and we're going to add a transition to um in between these pages so i'm going to hover in between them and click on add oh no no transition and then we're going to choose a transition that we'd like to use yeah i think this one would be okay and in order to add music to your video go to uploads again upload your audio file and place it over here to edit your um to edit your audio click on this button and by the way you have other tools over here that you might want to use and uh, as for the volume i'd like it to be perhaps 35 would be okay so that when we play it we don't we don't get startled okay let's give it a try There you go. And that's all for today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Have a great day.